Did you know God has a son? Yes, indeed. Psalms chapter 2. I know the Muslims say, oh, God has no son. Really? Well, my Bible uh, says and declares it. And this is Chaplain Bob, Light of the World Ministries, John 8, 12, anybody. So, Psalms chapter 2, verse 1, King James Bible. Why do the heathen rage? Oh, yeah, the heathen, they rage. And the people imagine a vain thing. Vain means worthless. The people imagine vain, worthless things. And the kings of the earth set themselves, and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed. Ah, and the rulers, the kings of the earth set themselves, and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed. They're against the Lord and they're against God's people, saying, Let us break, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. Well, basically, this is like saying their laws, you know, like the Ten Commandments. We don't want to be bound under God's laws. No. So let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. That's right. God's la will la shall laugh at them. I did a playlist on that, believe it or not. God laughs. The Lord shall have them in derision. Huh, what does derision mean? Well, Webster's 1828, the more I study this, the more I like it. Derision, a noun, the act of laughing at, as, as in contempt. Contempt manifested by laughter or scorn. An object of contempt. A laughing stock. Sort of like that, uh, that black politician that was talking to the naval admiral that said... Uh, Oh, well, what was that island? I think it was Guam. They wanted to build a, something on Guam, some kind of a base or something, or renew the base. And this black legislature was talking to the admiral and said, uh, well, wouldn't, wouldn't Guam capsize? Wouldn't it sink? Uh, and the admiral, I imagine the admiral had to bite his tongue to keep from laughing at this fool, you know. I've never heard of an uh, an island capsizing, you know, turning upside down. Yeah, and these are the people we have in Congress. But I'm sure, you know, equal opportunity, right? Equal opportunity. Derision, laughing them to scorn. The whole place should have laughed at the clown. Yeah. Of course, you know, what do you do with people with a 70 IQ? Verse 4, he that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh, the Lord shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. I will declare the decree, the Lord hath said unto me, thou art my son. Oh, wait a minute. My Islam says God has no son. Well, you know, they should read the book of Psalms instead of Muhammad. That's just my opinion. I will declare the decree the Lord hath said unto me. The Lord hath said unto me, Thou art my son. This day have I begotten thee. Thou art my son. The Lord hath said unto me, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, and the uttermost, uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Isn't that what Christians did? God gave us the heathens for their inheritance, 
and the uttermost parts of the earth. England had colonies all over the world. It's, it was said that the sun never sets upon the British Empire. And that was true at one time. And now they say, oh, that was cruel. That was horrible. Well, I knew a guy from India. And his I forget if his father or grandfather had told him that India was much better off under British rule than under native rule, so-called. I says, why is that? He says, well, the British made sure that everybody got fed and had food. Uh, the guy that owns Tata Motors, T-A-T-A, -T -A, he's like a multi-billionaire or whatever. India exports rice, and yet they have hundreds, if not thousands of people that die of starvation every single day. I mean, can you imagine that? They export rice, and yet they have people that die of starvation. Because money to them means far more to them than the lives of their own people. Ask of me, and I will, shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Verse 9. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. See, Israel is doing exactly what God said they would do. But everybody says, oh, that's horrible. Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings. Be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and and rejoice with trembling. 12, verse 12, listen to this. Kiss the sun. No, we're not talking about the sun in the sky. No, we're talking about the son of God. Kiss the sun, lest he be angry, and ye perish from the way. When his wrath is kindled but a little, blessed are all they that put their trust in him. Ah, God has a son. Oh, yeah. All righty. Well, that's uh, part of the Godhead series. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor. God the Father and his only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ. Uh, in his precious name, amen.